All right, hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I'm gonna be hacking my Remarkable 2. This is a request that you guys have made of me, uh, and I'm happy to oblige. And basically, what I want to do is um, go through the entire process with you, step by step, uh, of the Remarkable hack. Now, I've already done the hack on my Remarkable 1, and I did a video on the result of that, this video is just going to be the step-by-step -step process of hacking this using the DDVK hack from GitHub. And I just got the Remarkable 2, love the device. Um, actually, I love it a lot more than I thought I would. So um, more to come on that. But uh, I do miss some of the features that the hack offers. And so one of the things that uh, I really miss a lot is the uh, the pinch to zoom uh, I miss and the um, the two finger swipe down to switch to a previous document or swipe up to go to recent documents. I miss that. Um, I am going to just install the uh, DDVK hack and none of the other stuff in this video, uh, but it should walk you through the process just fine. So. Uh, you see my laptop here. I am connected uh, to my, my home network via Wi-Fi. My Remarkable, I'm also going to connect to my home network via Wi-Fi and uh, turn off flight mode. Now, one thing that's important to note here is the version of the software on your Remarkable. And then if we look here at GitHub, uh, you will find um, all of the information about this and the, the link to this particular GitHub page will be in the video description. But you need to look at what software version is available for your particular tablet. They have them for RM1 and RM2. Thankfully, uh, for the last few iterations, they've been in sync. That hasn't always been the case. Uh, but for right now, uh, they are in sync. So 2.5.0.27, there is a DDVK hack for that. This is 2.5.0.27, so we're good to go there. You can click on this and look at uh, the patch uh, the patch levels for this particular firmware, um, and we're at 17.2.04 uh, is the most recent. But really, all you wanna do is just make sure that there is a current patch for the current software version. Now, if they update this version on Remarkable, and I download it, it's gonna overwrite all of my hacks. And I don't wanna come in here and reinstall the hack until it's been ported um, to the new version. So there is some maintenance involved uh, if you choose to update your device. But largely, this is a safe procedure. The good thing is it's a temporary procedure um, at first, and you can choose to make it a permanent procedure. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. But for now, I just wanna make sure the software version matches the patch level. All right, so I am connected to Wi-Fi on the same Wi-Fi network as my laptop. The next thing I wanna do is go into help and then copyrights and licenses. And then down here at the bottom, you can see the IP address for my device. And you can also see my SSH password, which you can't see because I've blurred that out. You should write this down, take a picture of it, do something to capture this password because if you want to access your device and you can't get to the screen for some reason, let's say something breaks, uh, you, you're being, <laughs> you'll be sad because you need that password. Now there is uh, a way to add uh, key files for SSH. We are not gonna go into that in this video. I'm simply gonna follow the instructions here just to uh, install the DDVK hack. 
So as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna open up a notepad really quick and I'm gonna type this password in here and uh, I'll save this as uh, rm2ssh pass. Put it where you want it, put it in a password manager, whatever. All right, so now um, back on the DDVK uh, GitHub and uh, it's really simple, uh, surprisingly simple installation. Basically what you're going to do is uh, remote into this device using a uh, command shell and then run, run a, um, a script that will install everything for you. All right, so I'm gonna open up a command prompt. This should be something everybody has on their computers regardless of what you've done to it. Go here in the search bar and then just type in CMD and you should see the command prompt. You can open that. And uh, from here, I'm gonna type SSH space root at 192.168.86.206. Obviously, you're gonna wanna put in your IP address of whatever your tablet says. And uh, what that's gonna do is log in as the root user um, on this device. I hit enter and it's going to grab the RSA uh, key fingerprint and ask if you want to continue. I do, I'm going to type in yes and hit return. It permanently added this tablet to the list of known hosts. So the next time you go through this, you don't have to go through this step of do you want to allow. It will just automatically go to the password prompt. It's requesting the password. So type in the password that is on your tablet and you won't see the characters print on the screen. Uh, just be careful when you type, go nice and slow and hit return. And then you can see now um, I am in the remarkable. You'll get some sort of a graphic. Mine says zero sugar in nice colors. And then I'm at a remarkable uh, command prompt. Once we're in there, we can go down here to the auto magic line and paste the following. So basically all I'm doing is copying this content, grab it all, uh, including that last quotation mark there. Come up here and then we're gonna right click and it will paste uh, that into your uh, command prompt line. Now I'm gonna run that command because I'm logged into the Remarkable. I actually just, I'm in the Remarkable. So when I, when I hit return here, it's gonna do this on the Remarkable. And what it's gonna do is go to the GitHub user content.com, DDVK Remarkable Hacks Master Patch.sh and get the latest patch version. And this should work for 99.9% .9 of the people is it's just gonna go up there and uh, and pull down that. And if you wanna see what that is, you can go look at that uh, to see what it's doing. Uh, but that's probably beyond the scope of this video. Just hit return. And you can see here it connected to that. It uh, installed some things and then it's rebooting into the patched version. So now I am in the patched, AKA hacked version. So I'm gonna open up quick sheets here and then immediately I can see some of the things I'm familiar with um, on this. So one of my favorite uh, little sections here is this where I can turn pinch to zoom on and off. Uh, if you have an RM1, you can turn the buttons on and off, uh, swipes on, uh, is by default, page numbers, bookmarks, all of that good stuff. I'm gonna go into uh, my tablet notes, some things I'm making notes on. And now I should be able to go up and then quickly go back to quick sheets. I mean, this really, <laughs> the, the ability to change um, to your most recent files is got to be uh, one of the best. So you can go up to access recent files or go down to just automatically go to your last file. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, we're not gonna go through this. Uh, if you wanna see all of the hack stuff uh, and what it, uh, the value it adds to the Remarkable, you can go look at my other video. Uh, I'll put a link um, up at the top here uh, that you can go try that. 
So if you like this, you can um, come in here when you're done playing around with it, hit control C and it's going to shut down um, and ask you a question, which is, do you want to make this permanent or not? If you say no, then it will basically undo everything and then you'll be back to your factory version of the Remarkable. If you say yes, it will make it permanent and we'll make some changes that will allow it to work after reboots. Now, uh, I'm gonna hit yes here because I wanna make it permanent and hit enter. It's been restarted and now um, it is permanent and we can go back. Actually, you can see here, I've got recent files already. My tablet notes, um, scroll down back to quick sheet. So it is now permanent and I can hit uh, exit right here. And now I have logged out of my Remarkable and I can hit exit here again or close the window and I am done with my command prompt. And that is it, I have hacked the device. Now, if you um, want to um, revert it for whatever reason, you can go back in using the same SSH method we did before, SSH space root at whatever your IP address is and um, then run these commands and it will undo that for you. Uh, so you can go back. And uh, the only other thing in here, I guess is time zones um, because you do have the option here to have time zones, uh, your time. And right now it says it's 1813, which is 613, but it's really 113 where I'm at because I'm in, in Eastern time. So I guess I'll show you this real quick because I'm gonna do this anyway. I'm gonna go back to the command prompt SSH. Enter. And then now um, I'm going to set the time zone. And basically, what you want to do is do the time. time date CTL set dash time zone. And then we're gonna tell it what to set the time zone to. Unfortunately, I don't remember. But the good news is they have right here, check the list of time zones and time zones. So you click time zones and then you figure out where you're at. Uh, so I use America, New York. So I'm gonna control C to copy that. Go back to my command prompt, right click and then put a trailing uh, quote. So I have set dash time zone space quote America slash new underscore York end quote. And then now I've set the time zone to New York and just like that, when I go back into my quick sheets, it shows it's now 115 instead of uh, whatever it was at UTC. So I'm gonna exit back out exit again, and I'm out of there. So uh, we've hacked it, we've changed our time zone. This is worth it right there, just to be able to bounce back and forth between my different uh, documents without having to always like close out a document and then navigate the menu to find things, uh, you know, and go through folder structures. Um, yeah, I, I just, it's worth it for that alone plus all the other interesting things that it can do. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.